Hey everybody, welcome back to Rooted Online. Today we are making cake, but we are going to Google substitute every ingredient listed on the recipe. Here it goes. Before I start throwing ingredients together, I told you last week that if you watched the video and commented in the comments your name, then you would be eligible to win a $10 Tim Hortons card. So right now we are going to do that draw. Put your names in my mixing bowl. I'm going to pull out a name. And this week's winner of our $10 gift card is VG Brander. VG Brander commented on Instagram. Congratulations, you have won this $10 Tim Hortons card. Want to know how you can win your own $10 gift card? It's easy. Watch this video, put your name in the comments, and if you are between grade 8 and grade 12 in the Rooted Youth Delivery Area, then you can win, will you get your name entered in a draw to win a $10 gift card. Go ahead, do that now, and I'm going to get ready to bake a cake. Okay, I am ready. Our original recipe calls for butter, eggs, flour, cocoa, white sugar, baking powder, salt, baking soda, and boiling water. But we are ditching all of that for whatever Google tells us to substitute. Okay, I've preheated the oven and we are ready to go. So the first thing that we are going to ditch is our flour, our butter, our sugar, and our cocoa powder. So I Googled it and Google says that if you want to replace butter in a chocolate cake recipe, which is what we're making, that you can use applesauce. And that is great because this applesauce was left in my kids' lunch. So we're going with applesauce. It said that you can replace your cocoa powder with hot chocolate mix. So we're going to add hot chocolate mix. We're going to replace our sugar with maple syrup. Now this is actually substitute maple syrup. So we're actually substituting a substitute which makes this a really, really good Google substitute. And then our flour. You can use rice flour or almond flour or whatever, but what I have is the substitute whole wheat flour. So that is going into our cake. So as I'm taking all those, measuring them out, putting them in the bowl, I want you guys to comment below, answer this question. What is the, uh, let's say, should we do the worst or the best? Let's do, let's do the best first. The best cake you've ever had. Like what is your favorite all time cake? The one you want at every birthday, every year. What is your favorite cake? You comment on that. I'll measure these things out and I'll be right back. powder, our milk, our eggs, and our salt. So here it goes. Baking soda, you can replace baking soda with club soda. That's what Google told me, club soda. You can replace your milk with yogurt. So we've got some yogurt here. You can replace your baking powder with lemon juice. So lemon juice into our chocolate cake. And you can replace your eggs with uh, mayonnaise. So good old Miracle Whip. This isn't Miracle Whip, it's the cheap stuff, but this is the mayo we are going to use to replace our eggs. And then salt, if you ask Google, how do you replace salt in a recipe? How do you find a good substitute for it? They will say that you should use lemon juice. So again, we're back with the lemon juice. We are going to have a very lemony chocolate cake. I'm gonna take these things, put them in the bowl, and what I want you to do is comment below what is your worst ever cake if you could just annihilate a cake off the face of this earth, what kind would it be? Is it fruit cake? Is it? Fruit cake, maybe? Yeah? Anyway, you put your choice in the comments below. What kind of cake would you totally get rid of you could do without forever? Put that in the comments below But we put some more stuff in our bowl. have left to add to our recipe now is a half a cup of boiling water but because we aren't doing what the recipe says Google says that we can substitute boiling water for apple juice so here it is we're gonna warm up this apple juice add it to our recipe and see how it goes okay let's see what we think should I This is kind of good. It does not taste like chocolate cake, but it's 
It's kind of good. <laughs> All right, let's put her in a pan, put it in the oven, and see what happens. Okay, we're gonna put these cakes in the oven, and as they're cooking, I'm gonna talk to you for a little bit about substitutes. You know what there is absolutely no substitute for? There is no substitute for your relationship with God. For living your life with Jesus, there is no substitute. You have been designed to be in a relationship with God. We have all been created to have that connection with God. And the only way to do that is through Jesus. There is no substitute for Jesus. The Bible says in John 14, verse six, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And that's Jesus saying that because there is no substitute for Jesus. We need to make Jesus a priority in our life. Learn about him, learn from him, because there is no substitute for Jesus. And a lot of times we're gonna get tempted to fill our life up with other things and then we won't have time for making Jesus a priority. We need to be really careful not to do that. And sometimes Jesus is substituted because we think we can handle things on our own, but we really do need to have Jesus as a part of our life. And then there's other times, especially when we're hurting, where we will substitute Jesus for drugs or alcohol or addictive behaviors because we think that that is gonna fill this void that's left, but only Jesus can do that. There is no substitute. And so I wanna challenge you tonight. If you have been substituting, not ingredients in the kitchen, but have you been substituting something for your relationship with God? I wanna challenge you tonight that you make your relationship with God a priority in your life. You make living a life with Jesus a priority. So Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Let's think about that while we eat cake. Well, I eat cake, but first let's pray. Dear God, please forgive us for the times that we have made other things a priority in our life, God. Please help us not to substitute anything for you and to have our eyes wide open so that we can see opportunities to learn about you and to learn from you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, let's check out these cakes. But first, uh, remember, if you would like to have an opportunity to win $10 gift cards, then you need to comment on our video. So watch the video, comment your name, and then when we do the draw next Friday night, your name will be in there. So go ahead, put your name in the comments below, and we'll go check out these cakes. The timer has just gone off for our cake, so I'm gonna check it out and see how it is. And it, it smells really good. I'm surprised, actually. It doesn't even smell like chocolate cake, but that's okay because I don't actually like chocolate cake. So, I'm gonna stick a fork in. Does it seem like it is cooked? Oh, it's a little gooey, kind of like brownies maybe? All right, I'm ready to give it a try. This is our complete 100% Google substituted cake. It's still hot, I don't wanna burn my tongue. Um, it's okay, <laughs> it's um, I just, if you're looking for chocolate cake, this is not it, but it kind of tastes like oatmeal. I don't know, call it a fail if you want, but I'm gonna finish the piece. Bye.